It seems like Tennessee State's a real physical team. They like to body up in the lane. They're really hungry for rebounds, too. It seems like that hurts it at various times throughout the game. Yeah, no, no question. I mean, they got us, I don't know, 12, 13 on the glass, probably. They got 13, uh, 12 offensive rebounds. We did a really good job in the first half, I thought, um, in limiting their second chance points. You know, but again, their physicality and size, I, I think, wore us down. Um, and again, it's a credit to them. I mean, they're talented guys. But, you know, we've done a really good job on the glass this year. Uh, especially in our last four to six games. Um, so that, that's something that, that we can do. Um, but again, they, they make you work for it, for sure. And John, you play a team like that that's got that physicality and size and you never let and you get behind. A team like that's really hard to, to make it up. Well, especially right? when they're going to shoot the ball like that. You know, yeah. uh, we went into the game, honestly, with the, the mindset of trying to force them into threes. Now, we lost them a couple times when they were open, but you know, they made shots. Um, and when we, when we fouled them, they made free throws. So yeah, I mean, it's definitely hard to, to catch up at that point if you're gonna make your shots at the level they made them um, and, and make your free throws. You know, and again, we didn't get enough second chance points, um, second chance opportunities, you know, because again, they did a good job on the defensive backboard. One of the things you look at in a game like this is whether or not you got your guys back off and they fought really all the way to the end. Yeah, and, and we've done that. I mean, we've done that consistently. And, and again, I, I always give credit to the guys because it, it's not easy to be where we are. You know what I mean? You're 0 and 8 in your league. You've lost however many games we've lost in a row. Um, to continue to come back and have the confidence to push, shoot your shots, you know, and, and continue to defend and continue to try to have energy for your teammates is not an easy thing by any stretch. I mean, because we've got a competitive group and guys are frustrated. I mean, because again, they, they want to win and they're working to win. I mean, we practice, but the guys come in before, come in after, come back at night, whatever it is, they're putting the time in. Um, and we're not getting rewarded. We're not getting the results right now. It's part of our growth, you know, and again, part of establishing a culture and a foundation of doing things the right way and, and, and establishing work ethic. And we're doing it, you know what I mean? And eventually, that thing's going to tip our way. You know what I mean? When it tips, it's going to tip. Um, and we'll, we'll stay positive. We'll keep pushing. And I, I really do. I like our group, I like the locker room. And uh, I mean, we got another another one that uh, again we got to go find a way to get on Saturday. Carlos, from a player's perspective, how difficult is this stretch that you're going through? John was just kind of alluding to the difficulties, the challenges of when you have a losing streak like this. Yeah, it's difficult, definitely mentally, and just we just got to stay together and grow together and just learn from all our mistakes and just keep working and staying in the gym and just being positive about it. But it's just creating perseverance for us and building character throughout all of us and just helping us grow as a player. Are you still encouraged by the effort you see out there? Oh, yeah. yeah, we can't give up. Like, as a player, you never give up in a competitive locker room like mm -hmm. that. You always have to fight for the man beside you, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. John, can I go right way left field? I was, I was asking.